the first thing to do before retirement of our five things is clarify your budget and spending. So you need to have a grasp on how much money you're actually going to need on a month to month basis in retirement. And we talk to a lot of people and they, you know, they have an income coming in and they're not quite sure exactly how they're, how much they're spending besides, I guess, what, what their income is. And so you need to nail down kind of what expenses you're still going to have in retirement, what ones will go away when you are retired. A lot of times for people, their health care expenses will go down once they're retired as when they go on Medicare. Um, you're not making like retirement plan contributions anymore. You're not paying the same amount of taxes that are automatically coming out of the your paycheck or income anymore. And so a lot of people find that their retirement expenses tend to be 60 to 80% of their pre-retirement income, but that's very subjective and it makes a difference also how much income you are making before you're retired too. Because if you're somebody who's making, you know, two or $300,000, you're probably not going to need 80% of that to keep up your current, um, the way that you're living right now. So that's something to consider too. Another big consideration is to try to make as many of your retirement expenses by the time you get to retirement fixed as possible. So we like fixed expenses, not fixed income. Something that you're gonna be going to war with when you retire is that um, there's gonna be inflation. You're gonna have an approximately 20 year span of time where things are gonna continue to get more expensive. And if your income, the amount of money that you have coming in is fixed and isn't growing that entire time, you're going to be, you're going to find yourself in trouble where on the other hand, if you have expenses that aren't going to change, um, but you have an income right, that could possibly, that could right. grow and go up, you're going to be in a much better position. And an example of that is housing, because housing is one of the biggest costs that people have in retirement. And if you own a home when you retire, rather than are renting when you retire, that's a huge advantage for you too, because you have that fixed cost of your housing expense. And as, as people are kind of budgeting for what they're going to need in retirement, typically people spend more money in the first decade or so of retirement than later uh, because they have more energy. They have more things they want to do. They have family things they want to do. Maybe they want to travel. Maybe they're they're more active. And so we want to help people budget for uh, maybe extraordinary expenses like big family vacations or international travel or, or, or whatever and, and budget for spending a little bit more money in the first decade of retirement than the, the latter decade or decades of, of retirement. It typically goes down as retirement uh, goes on. And we have kind of a slide for that too. So like you can kind of talk of the go-go years, the slow-go years, and the no-go years. The first decade might be the go-go, do a lot of things, uh, be very active and spending in, in, and in that spending more money the first decade. And then they slow down a little bit kind of in the second decade. And of retirement and thus end up spending a little less money. And then the the third decade, some of them, some of them still stay active right into their 90s, but we all slow down. And so uh, you don't have to spend the same amount of money all through your retirement increasing for inflation. You might kind of plan that there's going to be some, some uh, uh, above average expenses in the beginning years of retirement. Mm -hmm. 